Hey there guys, Winnie here, and welcome back to Let's Play GTA 4. Man, frame rate is bad whenever we start. Holy cow. Well, it starts out really bad, and then it kind of smooths out as we, you know, as we start to do stuff. Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. This is your host, as usual, Winnie. You know, I am still sick. Um, if you saw any Hotline Miami episodes, or if you, uh... <laughs> Or if you're watching this in the future, this is during a time when I am sick. It's not fun. Uh, it sucks, but I still have to record. Anyways, let's continue doing Roman missions. Because they're always, like, almost always tutorials of some kind. And I just screwed up saying tutorial. To town. I don't give a fuck if the bridge is busy. You're a cab driver. Hey. Hello, Roman Bellic Enterprises. Uh, no, Mr. Bellic is stepped away from his office. Can I take a message? Okay, great. No, I'm not gay. Yes. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him. Car 7, head to South Slopes. Come on. Where are you, Mohammed? Hello, I'm in the leaks up. Shh. Fucking battery. This is chaos. Capitalism is a dirty business. Yeah? Like war? Not exactly. No, maybe not. When are you going to tell me properly about what happened? I'm not going to judge you. Uh, when you got time. There, I have time. Another time. Can I help? Okay, yes. Go pick up my friend, little Jacob. He's a good man. Likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on the Avenue in South Slopes. Nico, man, we should talk sometime. Oh. I'm a good listener. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck are Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today? Ay, ay, ay. The character tension is real. <clears throat> Go and pick up little Jacob. So, um, I like how I have a cab outside, and now I have a cab that I'm taking another one. Anyways, uh... As I said, I think I explained this in the last episode, or last few episodes. Last two episodes, really. Um, <clears throat> the beginning of this game is heavily tutorialized for like the first two to three hours of the game. It's ridiculous, but... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I'm sure putting on the headlights got his attention, too. Jesus Christ. It's so gray out. Alright, brother. Follow that Dillon Street in Shotlock. Welcome to Little Jacob, the hardest character to understand. If I didn't have subtitles on, you wouldn't know what the fuck he's saying half the time. Yo, Nako, the one man Roman been talking about all this time. Cousin Nako, gonna help Roman take over the world and thing. I guess so. Respect, alright, alright. We're going to this spot where I need you to wait for it. See? I gotta ask you another favor, too. Go for it. Can you take this piece? You hear anything bad going down? You come out of sight. Are you worried about this? I know how to use a gun if you want me to keep watch on things. Realness, brother. You're my man Roman's cousin. Thanks. Respect. These rascals that are rockers with my brethren real bad man the other day. I want to make peace, but John know what type of shit they might pull off. So this is right. our... They be the spot up um, here. Watch out for any badness. Yeah, we gotta sure. watch out for any badness, but, uh... This is gonna be our, uh... <clears throat> Gun tutorial, or rather weapon slash shooting tutorial. So we'll see how this turns out. I think this is another mission I've failed because I've just been stupid before. Yeah, let's crouch down. Crouch, but don't fall off. And yes, crouching in this game does make your aim more accurate. They decide to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more realistic with it. What's this? <clears throat> I know there's only going to be one of you is coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and thing. Shit, Nico. Get the blood shots. So it's popping off. Now, there is one thing that is very easy about Grand Theft Auto 4. It's getting headshots because... <coughs> there's an auto-aim feature that allows you to auto-aim at people. Um, when you... When you lock on, really. You auto-aim. And when you auto-aim at somebody, it automatically locks on, and then you just move slightly to around their face to where you want to shoot. It's kind of a... 
<clears throat> it's hard to explain, but if you've ever played the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You get like auto aiming and then you get fine tuning aiming. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together on things. Now the future, you know? I am always looking for work. If it pays. Here's my number. I'm going link up soon. Oh, hi, cops. What you doing? I was like, holy cow, don't hit that guy or else I'm going to have to get away from the cops, too. And that's not going to be good at all. This is not what I want right now. Jesus Christ. Hold on. <clears throat> Turn my headlights on and everything. Jeez. I'm trying to figure out the controls for getting Thanks my driving down. You can keep the peace. I think you know if you use it better than I and I do. One love. Yeah, one love. Hey, Rasta. I don't need to talk. Make we do it. Uh, yeah. Please do use my autosave slot. I don't mind. Uh, so now, <coughs> thinking about certain things. Okay, we gotta call the woman apparently. It automatically did that. I took Jacob where he wanted to go. Driving for you ain't as boring as I thought it would be. Jacob is a good man. Watching glue dry with Jacob would not be boring. Thank you, cousin. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I think, though, we're gonna head over to uh, Vlad and do our first mission for him. Since Roman doesn't seem to have anything necessarily for us right now. Thankfully, I somewhat know my way around here. <clears throat> if this turning wasn't awful, man, I hate these cabs, man. Shit. Yo, Nico! Alright, you know, getting by. Yo, we need to help with you know? Will you come on my face at Dylan Street? Sure, I was looking to branch out a bit anyway. I'll see you soon. Um, I would love to figure out what the handbrake is. Is it A? It is A. It's also right button. It's pretty shitty. Uh, anyways, let's do some Vlad missions. <clears throat> Watch where you're going. Hey! <laughs> hey! I tried to tell you. Fuck you. Excuse me. So, Ivan, I see you later, okay? Yoko, Fetty Roman's cousin. What's your name again? Big Mouth Prick. Very catchy. Sit down. Cousin. Uh... Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, me keep out. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not the kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Camden Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. So, <clears throat> it seems like, oh yeah, cab tutorials. You can get a cab to take you around the city. When on foot, press left button to hail a cab. Well, okay, I guess that guy did uh, stop for me. If I'm not mistaken, you hold Y? Yeah, hold Y to enter as a passenger. Okay, where to? Um, for one. Uh, so what you do <coughs> in a cab is you basically pick whatever destination you want to go to, you press A. You can control the radio, you know, all that stuff. You can, yeah, press X to make him hurry, it makes him go a little bit faster, he kind of ignores traffic. Uh, it can be a little bit hazardous though. 
and then you can also press A to just skip the whole taxi ride in general. Um, and that will, uh, you know, <coughs> cost you a little bit extra money though. This is typically the view I like to take in cabs though, uh, when I'm playing. The you just do change destination, but uh, you don't actually hit A. He still drives to where you're going, and you get to see how much money it's going to cost you. All that stuff, you know. Now, I actually don't know how far away this China shop is. You never have cab smell so good, yes? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. I've only been in like... To be 100% honest, I've only been in like three caps in my life. Uh, and I've never been the one to uh, actually initiate said cab. I, uh, <coughs> I've been in Uber twice. And both times were decent experiences. What the hell is this cab driver doing? This guy's insane. He drives worse than me. Yeah, uh, cabs are a good way to get around the world if you don't feel like driving necessarily or if you want just a break uh, to go get like a drink or something, I don't know. It's always what they're good for. See, when you get here, it charges you the money and you'll be forced out. All's well that ends well. <clears throat> hey, let me in. You have lent protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break up here. Vlad should pay me to tell punk like you to go away. He get no money. Find something to throw through the shop window. Very well. <clears throat> if we follow our radar, head over to this construction yard. Hold the left button to pick up an object. And so we have a brick. So let's go throw the brick at the window. Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Here's the money! I hope you and Vlad choke on it! Sure, whatever. Take the money back to Vlad. So again, we can hail a cab for this, or we can just drive back ourselves. I think I'm gonna... Fuck you. I'm gonna err on the side of taking it back myself. Just because that's more entertaining than sitting in a cab. This is a nice van. Or SUV, rather. Is this a van? Does this classify as a van? No. Right. So, yeah, there's a lot to do here in Grand Theft Auto 4, but <clears throat> there's a lot of aspects of the game that we won't be seeing in my LP. I think the basic premises that I... Jesus Christ, that I plan to do... No problem, cop. No problem. Nothing happened behind you. Don't worry about it. I'm out. Um... It's a lot to do around here in this world, but I don't think we're going to see a lot of it in my LP because I think I just plan to do basic story missions and then just go from there. Um, I'll do uh, random encounters if I see them, but I'm not going to go out and actively look for all of them. Maybe. It depends how people feel about uh, the LP as we go on. And I'm definitely not doing all birds and stuff like that. That ain't gonna happen. Hey, Yokel. You managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. Well, we're probably gonna go right back in there.
to do the next mission. This I'm pretty sure another mission will show up. It should. Maybe not. <coughs> oh well. No, don't start stealing cars. You have one right here, dude. Alright. Oh man, little Jacob's actually pretty far away. Please make a U-turn, we're safe. Oh, it's safe, alright. Ay, ay, ay. But yeah. It's, it's, oh boy. Hey, Co, how you doing? This is so much fun. You know, Roman, I haven't been having that much fun since I got here. Has been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Brucey. Well, we're sitting here and calling the cops and watching them show up and look around. The fucking stupid bastard. You shouldn't cry wolf, Roman. Who knows when you'll really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to call me go. Eh. Uh, a little bit of story. Uh. Right there. Um, now, uh, what was I going to say? <clears throat> Man, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh well. Let's do a little Jacob mission. It's Nico. Nico? Yeah, me bleach hard last night, you know. Me so come, yo. Just hold on. What? Exactly, Nico. Uh, uh, what up, Nico? Hey. Glad to see the man, you know. I'm to my man, Roman. Roman? Eh. Mm. He's okay. Eh. Mm. He's still waiting for his big break, eh? Big break? Sure. I promise I'll come to a fool, you know, Nico. A boy for creep before him can walk, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a little drive. Come. Oh, what would we do without subtitles? And trust me, there's worse characters later that are just as yeah, hard man, to understand. Actually, fuck that. I'll take my car. Screw your piece of shit. <coughs> we actually have a. Make a U -turn. We're safe. Yokel, come see me for more work. You right. sure you don't want some? I'm sure. You might not keep the windows closed. Keep the gun down in the car. Hot box, see? So what's the deal? I'm buying some color off a new sauce, you know? Don't know if it's all this herb, but. I made a paranoid, I don't, don't trust them. Who arranged this deal? Some arbor shots in the crew. Bad man know them a long time, but I think them faced it. And if this goes wrong, I know what kind of shit bad man going to lay upon them door, you know? You think this is a setup? I don't know him. I've been smoking hard, you know. The fuck's with my brain and a little. Let me think all type of shit. I dread don't trust yourself, can't trust no one else, see? You can't shake no hands when your fist be clinched. You hear me, brother? Sure, I hear you. Hey, move. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Go around the back in case one of them try to get jumped and run off with the ganja. Keep hold of this vehicle, we might need to get out of here quick. Oh, trust me, there's better vehicles for getting out of anywhere quicker. Calculating route. Oh, drive to the rear alley, sorry. Sorry. There we go. You have arrived. That's a nice car. I would drive that car. Sure. They didn't have no stuff in there. They tried to take my car in. I still got it though. Finish them if them try to come out the back. I got the front covered. Everything cross virgin run, yeah? Yo, hide it! Alright, so we either run these guys over or we shoot them, and, well, there's an easy way and a hard way of doing everything. Alright, 
As easy as that. In 20 yards, turn right. Please proceed to highlighted. I don't know if this mission was a tutorial or not. This might have been our first mission. I wasn't really teaching us anything new. I got them. You're a real bad man in a Nico. Respect. <clears throat> Forward a Savannah Avenue in a Meadows Park. And now he just wants to go to a park for some reason. Okay. Oh. Well, there goes the hood. You're a bad boy, Nico. I don't know what I will be doing without you. Know. But I got to get the blood class to set I up. Alright. Drive while I block up some more, you know, brother. Ross I think you can call a bad man. Oh. Are you with me, are you with me brother? Yes. I gonna put some road boy in the ground. Calculating right Never mind, I remember this mission now. I used to die on this part all the time back when I first played Grand Theft Auto 4. It's because this is like your first on, true, brother. like... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, little Jacob. Piece of shit. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna set this place on fire to blood cloud. Yeah, don't trip. That'd be real bad. Anyways, this is your first, like, gun fight that gets like a little out of hand that can actually you know be serious don't worry I got this asshole Because this shocking gun does so much damage, man. Shit. Wait, no. Stay in cover. There we go. <clears throat> Always keep your gun up. Got him. Oh, this is a tutorial. Teaching us about first aid kits, I guess. Break it. You see it? And I get them all. Yo, make we broke out there. I think someone soon turn up. Alright, now we gotta get out of here. Don't trip. <laughs> that was really funny. Break it. I'll tell back at the cafe, I think. Real bad man gonna be happy with this, I think. Channel Thank you, my brother. Don't mention it was a pleasure. I look out for bad man like how you look out for raw man. He's my cousin. Blood be the thickest band there is, you know? Light is not always an easy thing in a style. Bad man tell me, say, yo, Jacob, kill him. Jacob, shoot that, etc., etc. You ain't always logical, but I and I follow. See? That idea? Him call Stabber Man for giving us cool face. Orders are sometimes hard. You must be sure you agree before you follow. I have made that mistake myself a long time ago. For real, you're there. Thanks for everything. Keep this little something and say, yo, we appreciate your assistance, see? We talk to you soon. See you later. Dude, Hawk boxes my car every time he gets in it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. And now back to Vlad, I guess. <laughs> like playing ping pong between these two. And this Vlad mission might be our last. Not our last Vlad mission, but our last mission for this episode. Making good progress, though. But that's just how these missions are at the beginning. You know, they're quick and easy. Teaching me things. Uh. But, I don't know, later on in the game you start to get some really complicated and long missions that could take up a good portion of an episode. Nico, now that you settled into life in Liberty City, I was wondering if you could start to help your cousin with the family business. I thought all I'd have been doing since I got there was helping you out. You have, you have, but I mean officially. I need more drivers for the cab car. I'll make you welcome. Okay, then. Just call me whenever you want to take a fare. You can do as many as you like, Nico. So, um, <laughs> Please proceed to highlighted route. The these side missions know. where you could call Roman for work, uh, I guess it's just a way of making money. I don't know if there's actually a reward for doing 
however many fares like uh, in previous GTA games. But I guess we'll find out. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime, plain and simple. You're joking, right? This is a joke. You're, you're playing hey, a joke. Mallory, tell Fatty his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Of course. Now listen. You did good with the people there. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Thinks in this country business is done differently. Says he will call cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a bit. Let him know might is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there! First rule! Easy, buddy. Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho! Hello. Love going. Да, да. Что ты хочешь? Быстрее. Я очень занят. Alright. <coughs> oh, garbage truck. Might be pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so another person is refusing to pay money, I guess. Let's go teach him a lesson. It's right down the street, man. He could do this himself. Tosses the laundry at me. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Ram his van until he stops. All right. Well, I picked a great car to do it in. <clears throat> He's not driving very fast. Are you sure he's trying to get away? I would shoot at him, but I don't think it counts for uh, damage against him. There we go. You got me. You got me, okay? Why have you not paid Vlad the money you owe him? I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is an impatient man. You will be getting the money to him soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get it to him. I thought this country was different. A <laughs> hundred bucks. Dude, little Jacob pays better. <clears throat> Jeez. Now I get this shitty ballistic compact. I spoke to the laundry man. He gets the message. He will pay you now. I like your style. You can be an intimidating guy. It's a shame everybody knows what a stupid yokel you are when you open your mouth. Huh? Come back to the bar. Okay. Um. <coughs> Apparently, he lives right across the street from us, or at least that bar is. So that's okay, I guess. But anyways, we're gonna go save and call an episode. So yeah, more tutorials out of the way, but overall we're slowly easing into actual regular missions where uh, getting a feel for some classic Grand Theft Auto action. This thing's fucking fast, holy shit. Like, what happened? <clears throat> Maybe I will keep this around. It just looks like a piece of shit. I'll do my research in between episodes too to figure out uh, if there's any reward for doing certain things like side missions like taxi cab and stuff like that. I'm sure there is. I just don't know about it. Uh, <clears throat> and I think Romans is just for money and relationship. 
uh, points with him, but I don't know. I think the reward for eventually getting <coughs> Roman's uh, relationship high enough is that you get taxi cabs for free uh, when you call him, but it's only at certain times of day, so it has an up and a down. But anyways, thank you for watching. This has been your host, SPU Shawinio. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. Bye-bye for now.